<laughs> it's, a, it's a cop, but it, he shoots, he burn. You know, you know, I have a cup. Now maybe, if, maybe if I give it a chance, it, it can shoot too. Cock. So I guess that oh, all that I gotta do is give it a gun, which I just so happened to have right here. And then he said to himself, wait, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I've been too preoccupied thinking to myself that it'd be great. It'd be so much fun to do. But did I ever stop to think if I should? And what's the worst that could happen? Give me all your corns, bitch. Oh crap! I mean, I can't say I can't say that I'm surprised though. I mean, I mean, I mean, I kind of called it. I said now. Okay, okay, just let me, just let me grab my coins from my pocket. Space Hamster. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Space Sammy, and today we're gonna be talking about Cuphead bootlegs. Cuphead is easily one of my favorite games of 2017. It's got a beautiful throwback style, great controls, run and gun gameplay, fun bosses, and you can play it all co-op to boot. And not to brag or anything, but I was definitely like the first person ever to be hyped for this game. See, I even screen capped this tweet I made back in 1990. I was only one year old then, but I still knew that Cuphead was going to be really good. Cuphead sold over a million copies in its first two weeks, and now it's well over two million. It was highly praised by critics and gamers alike. That is, you know, if you could get past the tutorial, the tutorial section, I heard that was pretty hard. Gosh darn it, I cannot get, get past this, this part. Come on, ah, uh, come on, God, come on, get up there, get up, get up there. Okay, well, I've definitely played enough to write my review now. With that kind of success, inevitably, there's always going to be people out there that want to capitalize on it. And what better way than via app games? App games here and there, all over the place. There's so many. Why? Why is there so many? I don't get it. In fact, there's already been a purge of Cuphead games on the app stores, but they're still there. Games like Cup Hand and Head Adventure. You know, I'm not exactly sure what I've gotten myself into. And that's one ad already. Cool, 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 cool. Man, you know when you click a button to get to the level select and you see an ad that this is gonna be a good game. But dang, eight levels? That's a lot of content. No, I haven't even been able to play the game yet and I'm seeing ads like every five seconds. Oh my, oh my God. Please, God, no. Something went wrong. Oh, you could say that again. Clean the area of evil mushrooms. Well, don't worry. I'm definitely the best choice for that. Clearly, it is me, Cub Man. I can punch things and I can fly. Wait, but why? Why can't I fly? Cuphead can't fly. I mean, at most, he just does little dashes. Okay, but at this point, I think I'm digging a little too deep into the lore and I should be practicing my fighting skills. You get your mushroom butt over here. I'm gonna beat you up. Shit, get some of this mushroom. Wait, I'm not. Am I hitting him? Wait, I'm taking damage. How am I taking damage? He's not even moving. Okay, so obviously this game is what they call a dumpster fire. The mushrooms, if you can even call them that, don't even have actual animations. They just waddle up on you. And can we talk about the faces a little bit? Cuphead looks like the type of guy who goes around creepily in your neighborhood and looks through people's windows. <laughs> that's a that's a ghost. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> I gotta fight two of these things at once. That seems obscenely unfair. Oh, oh, oh god, the car. Oh, well, I, okay. Um, like I was saying earlier, the enemies don't actually have any animations. They just attack you. And when you run out of life, guess what? You can watch an ad to continue playing. Oh my god, you mean I can watch an advertisement and then continue the game? That seems overpowered, dude. What they forget to tell you is that if you restart, you still have to watch an ad anyway. So basically, you have to watch an ad no matter what you do. Oh, and it gets worse. Ah! The game swarms you with enemies that will repeatedly kill you in order to get you to watch as many ads as possible. Well, you know what? I ain't doing it. I'm out of here. See you later, everyone. It's been a real good time. I'm just gonna fly off now into the sky. You're never gonna see me again. How 
about this one called Cup Battle Rush? But wait, it just says Cuphead when you get in the game. Oh boy, you're not even trying with this one, are you? Oh, I, mean, I mean, just look at this. Yes, it's a ripped directly from the game. And not only that, but they have the gall to ask for a thousand reviews before they release the next levels. Sure thing, and completely unrelated and not at all inspired by that, I'm also not going to be releasing the rest of this video until I reach about, uh, let's say 10,000 likes and 10,000 comments down below. So you guys better get to typing down there. I better hear some typing right now. Anyways, speaking of comments, we should head on down to the review corner to do, to, to do some of those. Objectively, one of the best things about these games is that they're open to the public and thus open to review. And honestly, sometimes the reviews and descriptions are better than the games themselves. Barbara Ann Piper says, I don't like how many commercials there are. Pretty much every time I die, there is a commercial. I also don't like the way the the piece that makes you move, you have to hit the very top that to go up, even though sometimes when you press the top, it takes you down instead. The rest of it, I like. All in all, it's a good game. But there are a few kinks to work out. I love Cuphead, and I was so happy about this game that I don't like is how many commercials there are in the piece that makes you move. Four stars. Uh... What? Anthony Fox says, I love Cuphead, probably the best adventure type game in this century. My only problem is the move pad. The distance between how far the pad can go is too small. Make it bigger and I'll give a five star rating to controls. Five stars. Do these guys know anything about copyrights or who owns Cuphead? Kind of makes you wonder. All this for a game where you go down an endless hallway of pillars. That's it! That's all you do! It's just a watered-down version of the Pyramid Peril level! Instead of going through multiple phases of creative waves of attacks, you just kind of... fly. Okay, I mean, I guess there is two different phases, but it just keeps going back and forth between the two endlessly. The only attack that Jimmy even does is the cat one, and I frequently broke the game where it wouldn't even load the next phase of the fight! Fly through the tunnels, fight the Jimmy, rinse your pee. Man, the Jimmy looks weird. Cuphead Battle Crush! What is wrong with people these days? Mean man, if you wanted to create a game that doesn't even work, then why create one at all? The person who made this app must have wanted to make people think this was a game. Who could have been that dumb to make this? Oh, it doesn't work. Well, well, I mean, I guess it kind of works. I can hear the music. Mm, yeah, those jazzy Cuphead classics. Cuphead Plane! Wait, are we just playing another game where you're just endlessly flying around in a plane? Big Ep Boy says, This is the best game in existence. It cured my dog from cancer, it killed my Ebola, and it inspired me to be an artist. My god, this sounds amazing! This could very well be the best game we've ever played! I'm starting to think that Big Ep Boy was lying. Not only is this game just incredibly unnecessary, but why is the game called Cuphead Plane when there's no Cuphead? At least have the cojones to rip off the actual character if you're gonna rip off the name! All you do is fly through endless, randomly generated levels. But the catch is you're playing with Flappy Bird controls, which wouldn't be inherently bad, except that everything is massive on the screen. Look at this arrow! What am I supposed to do about that? It takes up like a third of the screen! Mount Rainier, a literal 14,000 foot mountain, takes up less space in the horizon line of Seattle than these arrows, I'm telling you. The only thing you're really trying to do is collect coins to make the game easier. Brownie face emoji! It's that time again, it's time to write a review. Cuphead Plan has really good physics. You don't even need to spend money if good. Cuphead and Jumper! Wait, I thought it was Cup Jumper. Not to be confused with Jump Cuphead Jump either. Doesn't matter, I guess. In the wild, wild west of app games, you just flip flop whenever you want. So, Cuphead and Jumper is a jumping game. Tap the button, jump to your ultimate demise. Wait, wait, is he? He's flipping us off! Unbelievable, I can't believe this is happening. I 
wonder if this is like some sort of developer jab at the Cuphead devs for taking down previous versions of the game. It was their big break. They finally had a totally original character for their completely unrelated jump game app game. But they were just too, too proud. You know, after getting flipped off like that, it really puts your life in perspective. I think I need to learn some new hobbies. Hobbies like drawing, or in this case, tracing. How to draw Cuphead coloring book new. Okay, this isn't gonna be easy, but I'm gonna draw Mugman. Gotta try and stay within the lines as much as possible, so that people don't think I'm a skooma addict. Oh, oh, yeah! Easy, easy. Stay within the lines, stay within the lines. Hey, you know, this isn't that bad. Maybe there's a latent artist in me after all. What about Mug Gun Cup Run? It's my favorite of the Cupheads. Five amazing world, up to 60 plus challenging levels, angry boss fight every five levels. Mug Gun Cup Run is a journey of the Super Cup Boy. In the amazing world of Heat Jungle, Cup Boy must pass so many threats to run to target the jungle world. On the dangerous road, Super Cup must make use of power up weapon, weapon to weapon, kill the monster, monster, but a weapon, weapon is weapon, hidden weapon, in somewhere weapon, within weapon. map. Why are these buttons such low resolution? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Now we're playing the real Cuphead. Wait, question question mark blocks? Is that is that a play of spaghetti, spaghetti over there too? I mean, if I'm being realistic, this is probably the most playable game out of everything I've seen today. The controls at least function. Cuphead has some decent sprite art. And you know, it's actually kind of like a game. Also, that remix in the background is bumping. The weird thing is, though, is you can't just shoot things. You have to collect these blue little salt shakers potions in order to shoot your finger gun. Which, I mean, you're gonna want a lot of those because some of these enemies are hard to shoot. You also have a wall jump and you can double jump in the air, which makes getting around a little bit easier. It's pretty obvious though that this is just a Mario clone. Just like my favorite game ever made, Brave Cuphead Best Exploration Adventure! Brave Cuphead Best Platform Adventure for your kids, everything has been carefully designed for you to have lots of fun! Okay, sure, carefully designed. I'll bite. Well, I mean, you guys are already losing points. You said carefully designed. It says Cuphead, right? You couldn't even get the title right. Oh, good. A hundred levels. I mean, it's just so obvious. Everyone's trying to do the Mario's. Disclaimer, we are not affiliated in any way to trademark owner. We just made this game to make kids happy. It's our first goal. Well, I think that's pretty obvious due to the music choice. That and the fact that you can watch ads for free coins. Nothing says kid friendly like watching a bunch of advertisements. These aren't even the only Mario inspired games out there. Check out this one, it's called Jungle Adventure Cuphead. Mm, just, just bask in it. I know true beauty when I see it. Wait, wait a second, is this the same game? I think this is almost identical to the other game we were playing. Granted, the graphics are a little different, but the Cuphead sprite is the same exact sprite. And you know how I can tell is because they both weren't trimmed properly. Wait, so when I get the flower power, do I turn into Mugman or am I just blue Cuphead now? Oh, nice. You can throw little balls like you can in Mario. Well, that's going pretty fast. <laughs> so is there just no shame on the app store? Does everyone just rip off each other all the time? Yeah, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Well, this one's just called Cuphead. But of course, on the store, it was called Cuphead Mysterious Castle World Mugman. These silly game developers, how do you even forget your own game name? Uh, hey, Cuphead? Yo, you okay there? Did you have too much coffee? Why are you gyrating? So the award-winning Cuphead game, Cuphead Mysterious uh, Castle World Mugman, at least a little bit different. In this game, you're trying to complete the level and collect three treasures. It's not very good. What about this one? It's called Cup Super Headed in the Land of the Devil Adventure. It's the same game. I want to die. Okay, well, that's it. We're almost, we're almost done. We only got one more game to play. It is known simply as Cup Hand Adventure. Okay, now I want to die. What? Well, what exactly am I looking at here? 
This? This is Cuphead? Oh, look, it's the plane! Cu Cuphead has planes! So this game is just an endless runner. That's, that's all it is. It doesn't even work properly and it has no sound! Oh, I get it. They're just leaving it empty on purpose so you can hum those classic Cuphead songs yourself. Okay, that's it! I'm done playing video games forever! Except for when I'm playing over on my Twitch channel, Space Hamster TFG. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more videos like these. Thank you so much to all my patrons listed there. You guys are amazing, I don't deserve it. And big thank you to everyone who draws art. You guys are awesome. If you can't get enough Cuphead and you want to torture yourself even more, then head on over to my second channel where I have the five hour long Cuphead bootleg stream. Follow my Twitch, it was kind of a joke, but not really. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Sorry this one took a little bit longer, I took a couple weeks off, bye!